the gospel with different people in this particular city. And uh, he starts talking to a guy, and the guy looks down the New Testament and says, oh, that, that book you're holding, uh, it's got nice paper that's really good for rolling cigarettes. So our missionary said, well, all right, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll give you this book with all of its nice paper if you'll promise me that before you tear out a page and roll it into a cigarette, you'll read that page. So just read the page before you, he's got his light, so I just need to read it and then I can roll it and smoke it. He's like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I just said. So, uh, so, uh, so he gives the guy the New Testament, he leaves, comes back weeks later, sees the same guy on the street and says, hey, have you been doing what I asked you to do? And the guy looks at him and says, well, I read and smoked my way through Matthew and then I smoked my way through Mark and Luke. He said, I smoked all the way to John 3. He said, I came to this verse, verse 16, everything made sense. God loves me enough to send his son Jesus to die for me. So now I've put my faith in him and trusted him to save me from my sins. So uh, this word has power. It has power. I mean, all it, just read it. It's got power. So scripture's clear over and over again that every word in this book was inspired. Every word, and not just every word, but every, every letter of every word is God moved and the writers mouthed. Just like we read from Peter when we started talking about inspiration, 2 Peter 1, 20 and 21, no prophecy ever produced by the will of men, man, but men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. Now we have received, not the spirit of the world, but the spirit is from God, that we might understand the things freely given us by God. We need God through his word and the power of his spirit to reveal himself to us us. Ladies and gentlemen, this is some of the greatest news in all the world. God has made himself known to us. And because of this, we can know God. We can know God. And so it makes sense for the Bible to say, and let him who boasts, boasts in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord who practices steadfast love, justice, and righteousness in the earth. Ladies and gentlemen, do not boast in how smart you are or think you are. Don't boast in how much you have and how you look. Don't boast in what you've accomplished. Boast in one thing. Boast in one thing. Boast in knowing God. And that is only possible because this is the word of God, not created by men, but given by God himself. The Bible is divine.